My mind was blank as I laid in her arms quietly. She softly stroked my hair and held me to her bosom. She spoke softly, reassuring me that everything would be okay, that what was happening was right. I moved closer to her and tried not to think. I wanted to remember the times of joy and happiness that we shared, that my friends and I shared, and that my family and I shared. The memory of my mother came into my subconscious. She had dark brown hair with long bangs and the rest was short. She was very short, but her heart was big, helping anyone who needed it. She was there when I was sad, when I was hurt, but especially when I was happy. Her and I laughed at everything. The memory drifted into darkness and my mind was blank once again. I strained to tilt my head up, and there she was, still stroking my hair, still looking at me with those loving brown eyes. Tears formed in her eyelids and they slowly began to flow down her cheeks. I tried with all the remaining strength in my body to wipe the tears away. I barely lifted my arm off the ground before it fell again. I felt her body shift and her hand clasped in mine. Our fingers intertwined and she squeezed gently. The feeling in my legs was gone. I tried to move them, but nothing happened. My chest rose and fell slowly as I concentrated on breathing. I wanted to sleep. I wanted to go home, crawl in bed with my girl, and go to sleep. I wanted everything to be normal again, and I knew that it wasn't going to happen, and nothing would change. I looked at her again, trying to hold my head up. I breathed. She laughed quietly and her lips trembled as she smiled. She rubbed my cheek with her thumb. You are the most handsome man I've ever met. She said, tears running down her face once again. She leaned down and kissed my forehead. That's debatable. I said while laughing. As I laughed, blood trickled down the side of my mouth. She began to weep and wipe the blood away. For you and me, I love you so much. I whispered, barely having enough strength to say what I needed to. I love you too, sweetheart. It's tender as snow. She said, sounding weak and afraid. She squeezed my hand and held it as tight as she could. I looked at her one more time. She was truly beautiful. More beautiful than the rarest jewel, the bluest ocean, the clearest sky, and the most colorful tree. I had no strength and I shut my eyes. She pulled me closer and held me tight. My chest rose and fell slower and slower and slower. I took a deep breath, knowing it was my last, and enjoyed every second of it. I exhaled slowly and my chest was still. My body was cold and the light faded. The memory of my girl, the most beautiful girl I had ever seen, faded away, and I left. <laughs>